Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Sheen Shots channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at the totem workshops that were added into Outward with the Definitive Edition update. These workshops can be found in every region and allow you to build the totems called Ghost Drum and Sky Chimes. These will need different materials depending on which workshop you go to since they rely on resources that are native to that specific region. However, none of this is even possible until you go to the Primal Ritualist and learn how to craft the totems in the first place. When speaking to Sinai for the first time, he will instruct the player on how to use the workshops. Until you do that, interacting with these workshops will simply give you the following dialogue. There's a strange workshop here. If you know how to use it, perhaps you could craft something special here. So let's check out where all these workshops are at and what materials are needed at each one. Caldera. This is probably the easiest station to find as it is directly behind the Primal Ritualist over in Caldera. Head over to his hut in the middle left side of the map and bring the following materials. Ghost drums, one hexastone, one ghost's eye, two palladium scrap. Sky chimes, one peach seed, one occult remains, two palladium scrap. Abrasar. Head into the very center of the desert where you will find a giant statue near Stone Titan Caves. There's a bridge between the sandy hill, and you'll find the desert's workshop just on the other side. It's probably one of the least hidden workshops in the game, considering it's hard to hide things in a wide open desert. However, not many people need to ever come back here, so you might not have even seen it yet. Grab the following materials to create totems here. Ghost drums. Two shark cartilage. Two ghost eye. Two palladium scrap. Sky chimes. 3 Insect Husk, 2 Occult Remains, 2 Palladium Scrap. Antique Plateau. To find this station, simply head towards the Mana Lake in the bottom left of your map and head northwest. You will see this giant wheel-like thing that doesn't seem to have any purpose. Upon walking up the ramp in front of it, however, you will find the workshop. Remember to bring the following materials. Ghost Drums. 3 Buzu Hide, 2 Ghost's Eye, 2 Palladium Scrap. Sky Chimes, 3 Beast Golem Scraps, 2 Occult Remains, 2 Palladium Scrap. Chersonese. This region has a large beach that you can reach by leaving Sierzo storage to the back or taking the long way around. After walking the full length of this beach, you will reach a large grassy area. The hill to your left here is where the station is located and it's pretty easy to miss as this area is mostly empty. Collect the following materials. Ghost drums, three hackmanite, two ghost's eye, two palladium scrap. Sky Chimes, 2 Amalite, 2 Occult Remains, 2 Palladium Scrap. Enmerker Forest. Head towards the burning tree in this region and go northeast from it. There will be a small cabin to the right of some ruins and the workshop is actually inside this structure. I'm not a fan of this workshop's location as it takes away from the cabin rather than simply adding more to the game. However, you could consider it a cabin set up by an old primal ritualist for hunting purposes if you want to thereby justify it in some way. It's not a very hard cabin to find and you'll need the following ingredients once inside. Ghost drums, three coral horn antler, two ghost's eye, two palladium scrap. Sky Chime, 2 Copal, 2 Occult Remains, 2 Palladium Scrap. Hollowed Marsh. On the far left or west side of your map, you will see a location called Dead Roots on your map. At the northern edge of the cliff, you will find yet another workshop. 
This one is a little out of the way, but it's pretty easy to find if you regularly complete the purifier quest from the dead priests you could find in the Hollowed Marsh. Bring the following materials to craft the totems. Ghost drums. Two Phytosaur horn. Two ghost's eye. Two palladium scrap. Sky chimes. Two gold lich mechanism. Two occult remains. Two palladium scrap. So there you have it, every workshop location and how to actually use them. These are pretty useful for making totems if you really hated walking all the way to Caldera for the materials there. They provide you with a way to replace a totem if you happen to lose your originals. Plus, they look pretty darn cool. The carvings of creatures crawling out of each post make for epic structures to run across. I think these were a pretty cool addition to the game, as it's kind of fun to see more things from Caldera in each region. I imagine they were added because people were placing totems and then dying. Then it would be pretty annoying to run all the way back to Caldera just for two totems. Makes sense if you think about it that way, and also gives us some more info on the Primal Ritualist, as he's just kind of there without much explanation. Maybe this knowledge of workshops and mastery of totems used to be some sort of cult or religion similar to how the Cabal Hermit is the last of the Wind Followers. Or, this primal ritualist character is just getting started with his cult slash religion. It's stated that he had his followers set up the totem workshops in each region, so it could be that he's just kind of getting this going. Sinai himself is a nod to Sinai, a person who worked on the Outward Wiki as well as some of the mods for this game. So, that's pretty neat. Hopefully, this guide was helpful for you, and if you would, consider leaving a like down below. Think about trying the Primal Ritual skill tree, as it's extremely powerful and might give you a chance to use these workshops more often. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you next time.